hello guys welcome back to another video i hope you are doing great i'm also fine this is your own channel don't hesitate to ask anything if you don't understand regarding my videos uh, use comment section to ask anything about the insurance policy if you are going to choose any of the insurance policy i'll be answering those comments in um, time and uh, i'll be answering one by one don't hesitate so let's start our today's topic which is about the choice no fault and it is also about the insurance policy as our channel is completely about the insurance policy and uh, it says that uh, in choice no fault oh sorry before starting don't forget to uh, like the video if you like it don't forget to share with your friends family relatives I and mean everyone or uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon otherwise you will miss my videos update that i'll be going to upload for you guys so this topic says that in choice no fault states divers may select one or one of two options a no fault auto insurance policy or a traditional tort liability policy in new jersey and pennsylvania the no fault option has a verbal threshold in Kentucky there is a monetary threshold tort liability and the in traditional tort liability states there are no restrictions on lawsuits a policy holders at fault in a car crash can be sued by a, the other drivers and by the other drivers passengers for the pain and suffering the accident caused as well as uh, for out of pocket expenses such as medical costs and uh, add on in one in on states drivers receive compensation from their own insurance company as they do in no fault states but there is no restrictions on lawsuits the term add on is used because in these states First party benefits have been added on to the traditional tort liability system in add on states first party coverage may not be mandatory and the benefits may be lower than in true no fault states so next is the regulation let's see what it says about the insurance policy uh, insurance is regulated by the individual states the move to modernize insurance regulation is being driven in part by globalization of insurance services some large u.s companies that operate in other countries support the concept of a federal system that provides one stop uh, that provide one stop regulatory approval while others believes the merits of a state system outweigh the virtues of a single national regulator as a result of discussions about the merits of each system states are making it easier for insurers to respond quickly to market forces we'll be st stopping our video here as we are out of time and completing this topic in our next video so till then take care of yourself and don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel with your friends goodbye